Hello, this is Dennis Polis. Welcome to another in the series of Open Philosophy videos. In this video, we will be discussing the question of whether the laws of nature are intentional. This relates to a number of issues. If they are intentional, are they the intentions of God? And if they are intentional, how do they relate to free will? As we saw in video 9, which was the first in our series on the laws of nature, in the generation before Thales of Miletus introduced the idea of laws of nature into Greek thought, Jeremiah the prophet had already spoken of the fixed ordinances by which Yahweh rules nature. We read, Thus says Yahweh, who gives the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and the stars for a light by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Thus, from the very beginning, the laws of nature were seen as God's general intentions for matter. Renaissance and early modern scientists continued in this tradition, seeing the laws of nature as God's will. Even Charles Darwin, the hero of modern atheists, writes of the designed laws of nature. Nor has the idea of intentionality in nature died with the advent of modern atheists. Richard Dawkins, for example, attributes intentionality to genes, writing a book about the selfish gene. Likewise, Daniel Dennett, another prominent atheist, wrote an entire book, The Intentional Stance, devoted to convincing us that physical systems may be seen as operating intentionally. The standard and accepted analysis of intentionality is due to Franz Brentano, who derived it from his training in scholastic philosophy. Brentano notes that every intention is about something. Knowing, willing, hoping, believing, each is about something. We will to do a certain thing, we know a certain content, we hope for a certain outcome. Accordingly, it is generally accepted that the defining characteristic of intentions is their aboutness. They all have some content they are about. So, we may ask, are the laws of nature about anything? And the answer is clearly yes. The law of conservation is about conserving energy. The law of gravity is about how objects are drawn toward each other in virtue of their mass, and so on. So, by the standard analysis of intentionality as aboutness, the laws of nature are definitely intentional. There is another and more specific way in which the laws of nature may be said to be intentional. They and human committed intentions are both species of what we may call logical propagators. To understand what this means, we need to consider what makes a syllogism valid. For a syllogism to be valid, both of its premises need to be true at the same time. It does no good for one premise to be true at one time and the other to be true at a different time. Suppose that we argue that all in the room now can hear Mary and that John will be in the room tomorrow and we conclude John can hear Mary. Obviously this is invalid because of the temporal mismatch. Being in the room tomorrow is not the same as being in the room today. So, unless both premises are true at the same time, our conclusion is invalid. Still, we can make predictions. The reason for this is that some propositions have the special property of carrying information forward in time. Such propositions are what I am calling logical propagators. Consider, for example, the following valid line of reasoning. All in the room when Mary speaks can hear her. Mary now intends to speak in the room tomorrow. John will be in the room tomorrow. John can hear Mary tomorrow. What allows this reasoning to be valid is the fact that Mary now intends to speak in the room tomorrow. This proposition carries information from today into tomorrow and is what I'm calling a logical propagator. There are only two examples of logical propagators that I can think of. The first is committed human intentions, like Mary's intention to speak tomorrow, and the second is the laws of nature, which allow us to use information on the present state of a system to predict its future state. Thus, committed human intentions and the laws of nature are generically similar, being the only two species in the genus of logical propagators. We may conclude 
that not only are the laws of nature intentional, because they meet Brentano's test for intentionality, but also they are generically the same kind of intention as human committed intentions. Thank you.